man, I want to get you sick. So I'm getting ready. I have a phone interview with a company. This would be for a full-time position. Y'all know I start my like part-time seasonal thing tomorrow. Just preparing myself by you know pulling up my because you can have notes. Pulling up my getting my resume ready. My notes that I made about my questions. But yesterday he said uh PP potty and he had to go and I sat him down on there and he actually peed so he actually let us know because before I told y'all that he wasn't saying nothing about it you just had to sit him down on there and he did it today again today he said pie pie and I sat him down and he pottied and I'm like okay hey but I do want to ask I'm gonna make a video well I'm gonna just ask I want some kids mothers of kids if you like to collab with me to just do something real quick i know it's last minute i want you all to have your kids say happy birthday to saturn because saturn q's birthday is on december 22nd and i want to make like a little video for him i just want the videos by sunday and anybody else that might want to say happy birthday to saturn q and Sivish, just send me um a 10 second 10 to 15 second video to the sick show at gmail.com and i'll put it in the video who do you Y'all, he made that circle right there. I made these, but he made that one. Let me see do again. Okay, make a circle. Hey, Ray. Ray has arrived. Say what up, though. <laughs> She's here. Um, he has, he, he cool. Um, he has been saying potty. So he may tell you. It's 11 o'clock. They are late. Y'all know, look, I'm a black person. I didn't told y'all before. I do not like being late. I do not like people being late. I am not late. So if you say you're going to call me at 11, you need to be calling me at 10.59. It is 11 o'clock. I should do the countdown. <clears throat> it's actually 30 seconds after 11. So, so while I wait, it's 11.01. I'll tell y'all a funny story. So when I went to the... um. The other like test for the job last week, it was a lady there, it was a black lady there and she had come for an interview. So she came for the interview and they said, well, who are you here to speak to? I just got an interview at such and such and such a time. I don't know who I'm here to see. My name is, my name is Atanya Jenkins and that was her name. And I just got an interview. Can't y'all look it up in the system? So the lady was like, well, this is a very large company. You know, you do need to know who you have your interview with, you know, so that means I'm gonna have to come back. <laughs> so she went and wherever she had to go, she came back or whatever. So my interview is with Nanyan such and such. And um, so they're like, okay. So she sits down, you know, have a seat, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So she's sitting there like, she was very impatient. Like 10 minutes, man, went past. She goes up to the, do you have an estimated time of how long I got to wait? <laughs> and she's here for an interview. So she's like, well, I'm, I'm checking on it. And then, you know, so she comes back, sits down. It's like another five or 10 minutes later. You said it was going to be another five or 10 minutes. I've been waiting five or 10 minutes. How long is it going to be? Blah, blah, blah. So it wind up being a really long time. So she says, oh, well, you know, now it could be two hours. Sometimes they overbook appointments, whatever, da, da, da. So she's sitting there smacking her lip. I guess it ain't meant to be then. Just talking to random people that, you know, are going past and whatever. So finally they call her up to the desk and uh, they tell her, uh, well, we got in contact with um, Nunyan and he said that the position has been filled. She attituded her way out of that position. She sat there for however long. I sat there for almost an hour. And she's, she did all that smack and attitude or whatever. And they canceled her appointment right while she was there. So she talked to her, at, she attituded her way right up out of the job. So let me get myself together. Three minutes late though. So I think it went well. I always think it went well. It was Look who's home. Damn. This nigga sorry as a motherfucker. Wow. That... Say what up though, baby. What up though, baby? Let me 
say the sicko. So I, I just had to come on here because I'm putting Sid Fish on blast. I have told him, you know, maybe I should just zoom in on his back. You know, he keep injuring himself by going, you know, fast. I guess, you know, trying to be robot of the year. You know, robot slave of the year and stuff like that. New slaves. And, you know, he be bumping his head on apparatuses and appliances that they have. You know, he went to the hospital not too long ago. Y'all saw the emergency room video where he was up in there because he bumped his, his arm on something at work going fast. He's bumped his head. Um, let me see if they can see it. I don't know if y'all can see that noggin, but probably right there. He bumped his head, you know, not paying attention or whatever, and, and getting up fast. You getting up really fast if you bump your head. So today, then the other day, Push me. he bumped his, he, what, what happened to your thumb? What's wrong with your thumb? You did that playing basketball, your thumb is swollen? Yeah. That was basketball? Yeah. You don't want to be alive. You don't want to have limbs. Are your limbs gonna be torn off? You wanna be walking around like the the one the one legged, one armed, one foot, headless man. The way you acting. You won't love me no more. I mean I'm still gonna love you, but how am I gonna kiss you if you don't have a head? You kiss know my neck. How am I gonna, you know, have you fill on my booty if you don't, if you ain't got no hands? You gonna nub it? Yeah. <laughs> Nubbing on her booty. <laughs> I'm nubbing on her booty. <laughs> That's not funny, baby. No. Nubbing on her booty. You don't. He, he don't want to laugh at it because he know that he injuring himself. <laughs> he gonna be nubbing on my booty, not rubbing, nubbing. Then today, I'm, I came in and you know I started rubbing his shoulders like a good wife is supposed to do. And so he said, ah, my shoulder. I said, what? Oh, it's feeling good. You know, I thought the massage was feeling good. What'd you say, baby? I banged my shoulder on this little thing. It looked like a screw hanging or some shit. And I said, how did you do that? Kobe is sorry as a motherfucker. Damn, Kobe. So Kobe Bryant is sorry for real. And Tamika said this. She was like, we need to sit. He needs to sit his butt down. Being hard-headed like my husband. He needs to sit his butt down. See if this needs to sit his butt down because he injured himself from go getting up fast, he said. I was trying to do something fast. Damn, Kobe. Slowing everything. What did he do? Nigga just slow as fuck. Taking this nigga out, man. He look, he cold. Mm. Oh, fatigue. He fresh. No, that blue thing next to his name mean he cold. Oh, that's not him. That. Oh. Why is he cold? Cause that nigga keep fucking missing. Mm. They said he's tired. You get his tired ass out. Round with those. <laughs> what are you doing to Papa? You trying to stab Papa? <laughs> what are you trying to do? Oh, don't mind our garbage bag on the uh on the door. I know y'all have seen it before. We don't. <laughs> oh, he missed his Papa. You missed Papa? He likes to play with him and 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 wrestle with him and stuff. I don't like you playing around with us. No, nah, bro. Watching Judge Judy and responding to comments and stuff. You're mad? Okay, well, well, tell everybody what's wrong. Say what happened. What happened? Here, hold um, the camera. Tell them what happened. I Are you okay? Are you okay? Come on, baby boy. <laughs> I haven't been vlogging much when I've been out, but I'm just at the store picking up some bananas and some tortilla wraps and some apple juice.
that pan though. <laughs> we done burnt our pan to the pitch. You need to put some foil. We don't give up. What are you right, doing, you baby boy? Fuck. Not cooking at the first time. Like, fuck my wife. Cubanti has not been um, doing well on her diet. She's been eating donut sticks. I'm gonna eat some chips. God, God damn, take them shoes off of him. Shit, and, man. Come and, here. Take and my these shoes off. stomach was hurting, and you would think I would know better. But I've been having cravings, so I'm gonna have some donut sticks, and I'm gonna have some chips because I'm apparently stressed out because I have to return to the cotton fields which is no excuse but it's my excuse so y'all have y'all snacks that y'all eat you know you ain't supposed to be eating this garbage a donut stick sour cream and onion chips and vanilla uh, chocolate almond milk <laughs> In the store. <laughs> I was in. I was in the store, and you know how people are on the phone and they like to tell you, they're they only want people to hear their conversation. So the man is in the store. He just want to burn me. He always wanted to be me. They <clears throat> must like something about what I do, cause he always hate me. I can't whoop his ass. And then he said, I've been wanting to, the, the man been hating on me since 1971. I could, I, I, he been wanting to whoop, his, whoop my ass since then. And then he said, um, what did I say? He said, and then the, the nigga got bad bugs in his bed. <laughs> and then after that, he was like, hey, baby, what you doing, all, doing later on tonight? <laughs> so he did all this talking about this man yeah. hating on him, talking about the man got bad bugs in his bed. How did he know that the man had bad bugs in his bed? But bed bugs is an epidemic that's happening in Cleveland, Ohio, as well as HIV. So you get you 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 jump in the bed, in the sack with some of these people, you are gonna get bed bugs, oh. and you might get get it's the clap. HIV ain't the clap, but that woo. You might get that woo. Who who? He said the motherfucker got bed bugs in his bed. Bed bugs? The motherfucker got bed bugs in his head. <laughs> So everyone is asleep, so I'm about to take this assessment for the job. It's midnight, and I just finished another training for the work from home job to get ready for that assessment in a couple days. So, wish me luck. I thank you all for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I will see you tomorrow. Mm. 162 questions.